Hi guys and welcome back to the Buffet channel. It's so exciting to be back here guys. So if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, and let us know what do you guys think about this review. And if you're not new, say where are you watching from and how did you guys find us on YouTube? So today we have the Huda Beauty, the Easy Blur collection, I guess, line, you know, making her line a very inclusive beautiful and modern brand i just i just i'm happy i'm happy to see her working so hard and having so much success because honestly she deserves that and more and i'm not even gonna go and talk about her sister mona because her perfumes especially the rock sugar cookie i think it is rock sugar i have it the pink one i love it i love it love it, love it. anyways so let's go back to this review I am very happy to have this with you guys because I've never tried it. It's brand new. So if this is, I'm going to start with the Easy Blur Primer. This is a silicone-free smoothing primer. It has 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce. This is going to be a product that is also going to have like a lot of benefits for your skin. So she did one fingertip for each side. And it looks like this. It doesn't have anything, any any type of scent. So what I'm gonna do, this is very creeping. Like you can definitely feel the tackiness. I would let this sit for like a minute or two especially because of how much creepiness this has and lately i have been opening my horizons when it comes to foundation and look and i want to see how it performs with the rest of the products that i normally use like i'm gonna pick and choose whichever ones feel the most true to myself and i will be doing at the end a full review on how does this product works and for how long, how many hours? Right now it is, Alexa, what's the time? Alexa, what's the time? Good morning, Felipe. It's 9.48 a.m. So I am beyond excited to use this foundation. I will be doing the review of the shade Butter Pecan 330 End. And my skin, it is a dry skin with, you know, some hyperpigmentation. I have an olive skin tone. 35 years old, dry skin. Usually, if anything, I slightly like have some sweating here, but usually I'm like, I rarely sweat. So I'm excited to try this again. My my shade, my skin tone is going to be Butter Pecan 330N. And I'm beyond excited. I, I have no words to express to you guys how much excitement I have for this foundation. So usually I color correct and I color correct right here. Because I like to have an even bright, natural looking look for me. Specifically because I feel like regular makeup or regular type of makeup, like just putting your foundation and, you know, like maybe have a little bit of blush. I feel like it looks good on me, but this is what looks the best. At times when I feel like I want to make sure that I'm looking my most presentable, I mean, I'm definitely thinking that I can do the other stuff, the more the sick stuff at work. And yes, I recently started working back again. So I'm, I'm thankful to do that, especially because of the times being in right now. I want to say thank you guys so much for you guys who have followed us through like all these years. It is always so impressive to me how many people have come up to me and say, hey, I've seen you on YouTube or, you know, things like that. And, you know, I don't get that many. You should you get probably like, one or two every year but when we do it it's always so nice to see people who like genuinely like have seen you somehow some way and i'm beyond excited to share my life with Romel every single day because he he is a world to me he is the love of my life and i couldn't be more grateful so i changed the setup so i could have a little bit of different lighting to see how i see the differences in the cutting of the video for you guys for to bring you better quality is we have like 
eight lights in front of us and it still looks like you know it's still not as visible as a daylight which by the way do you guys agree with me when i say with me and Domel when we say that having a full face of sun on your skin on at 2 p.m on a picture wouldn't that create some type of a filter you know what i'm saying let me know what do you guys think about that it says that it has 1.5 percent niacinamide it is weightless comfortable buildable blur shake well actually you know i there's always i i don't think i became so conscious of shaking things up until i made the mail literally it's like we would go and buy a coconut water and he'd be like you gotta shake it because the pulp is on the bottom and i never really thought about it like i i i had seen people shaking like you know if you go buy something a drink or something like that they always shake it of course i shake it here and there but it's just like hmm it's interesting to see like you know i never understood the crunchiness of like eating something fried like vegetable fried vegetables or fried tofu or fried chicken you know whatever it is that it's fried fried wings and i feel like i am just beyond excited to see that part of my life with Wamel because you learn so much in a relationship that it you grow with the person on a different level. Just apply and blend using the sponge, brush, or fingertips. Repeat to build medium coverage as needed. So we're gonna see also how this works on top of this particular color correction that I normally do. And one thing I like to say is when I use the Sephora app, it transferred me to something lighter than this. And I knew it was lighter because as soon as I applied it, I, I like to have a very skin-like foundation as a base so when i noticed that i was like oh my gosh so i decided to color match myself just because i felt like that way i could you know have the better shade so that's what i'm using today and i'm gonna use this amount i'm gonna apply it with 170 and i'm gonna switch it over so you guys can see it is very liquidy and i'm gonna start applying normally i would apply it like this i just like to distribute the product as much as I can to have an even application all over. I like to buff it to have an even complexion. And don't worry if you see something like, oh my gosh, it's not blending well, or you know, like this is not how I would normally do it. Don't judge things based on what you know, but have more of an open mind to experiment with other things, especially because when it comes to makeup, I feel like everyone has their own style, everyone, those different things uh, like you know natural glam or mascara only or just brows or maybe just lipstick or maybe just blush because that's what they are comfortable with and i feel like in the makeup world i have experienced so much judgment especially by being a gay man it's just you know different for me i'm gonna apply a little bit more i feel like this foundation um it's very light light on the coverage it is it, it is said to be a medium coverage so or you can build that up, up to that so hopefully this works fantastic for me and i love the fact that it has so many skincare benefits like the niacinamide and that they are like you know this is what i'm bringing to the table and this is why your skin is gonna love it and this is the coverage i'm gonna do like the marketing of itself of the foundation and having the brand um it's just something amazing you know me and Domel have been thinking about like some of the some of the journeys that we want to take when it comes to our life and our careers and our, the turns that we want them to be like and i feel like when it comes to that it's so beautiful to see somebody thriving and somebody hustling somebody who is doing the best that they can and you see them having the success that they deserve you know and of course, there's always going to be some negatives. Nothing is perfect in this life. But I feel like in general, when you focus on the good things, even though it might sound like you're neglecting the negatives, it is okay to grieve the negatives, but it is also okay to enjoy the good things. You know what I'm saying? I am going to start brightening the face so you guys can see how this foundation is going to play. But looking from up close, it does look very skin light. So I'm a little scared because if I'm, the coverage that I'm going to use on my brightness is going to be a coverage. It's going to be a very full coverage. And this looks almost a skin like for me. Love, love, love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. This is a magic touch. And 
I have it on a number six and a number 11. And the reason why is because number 11 is very natural to my skin, true to my skin. Whereas when I use the number six to help me brighten, it really does the job amazingly. The coverage, the product itself, it's very beautiful. And I personally love the finish that it has, especially because I let it sink in for a minute. Like you'll see that normally I let this sink in for like 10 minutes. I know it sounds like a lot, but I promise it's not. That I love that. I really do love that. I love the fact that, you know, I make conscious decisions when it comes to using my regular makeup on a daily basis. So, so far it's looking pretty good. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it, how, how it works well with the rest of the items that I have on my face. Chanel bronzer. This is in the shade Le Beige 392 Soleil Tan Medium Bronze. I really love this shade. Now my next step on this makeup is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna start blending these areas just to make sure that the product sits very well. You could apply a little bit of uh, more co concealer, but you really don't have to. And I'm just blending this to make sure that it does look natural looking. Last product before powders is gonna be the Vanessa Myricks. This is in the shade Fair number one. It makes so much difference in your skin when you learn how to play with your own like shades. It's Chef Guess Heat. Thanks so Mel for the beautiful breakfast. Um, I let this, I added a little bit of concealer before the same one, the six from Anastasia and I really enjoy setting it letting it sink in and then I go back with the beauty blender after like five more minutes and I just let that like cook like I let that ferment in my skin and I feel like that uh, that tackiness I really enjoy it. that's when I get the fullest coverage and then I just go with the beauty blender and I just blend like I make sure that my skin is like blended I feel like that's when my makeup looks the best and i also added at last minute a little bit of the Gourley pop i felt like my blush wasn't really like out there so i added this shade the cream first just to marry what i am gonna do today because i really wanna look a little bit more snatch and play with my makeup today <laughs> on forehead the translucent powder from laura mercier and the banana powder from kimchi chic cosmetics and I am a huge believer of doing whatever works best for you. And this is what's working best for you. As a matter of fact, I think that we're going to be needing a new banana powder soon, even though these are huge. The reason why I use so much is because I blend it. I make sure that my skin looks and feels smooth from afar and from up and close. So what I like to do is I just grab it, making sure that all of the product is here. And the reason why you're doing this is not only to set the makeup, but also because you want to ensure that uh, the makeup stays longer, the makeup looks smoother. Um, I'm personally doing it because I recently started applying creams, more creams on top of it, of my skin. And I was like, you know, I'm going to do more underpainting, which it looks very natural. And I think that that elongates the process of my makeup to make it look very, very seamless like. I feel like when you're spending your time, I'm not asking you like if like if you're like a mom or you have a lot of things to do at home, you're definitely or somebody, you know, mo mom, dad, anybody who uses makeup who is like, oh, my gosh, um, I want to elongate the product of my, my makeup. You can do this. But if you're more on the light, natural wearer that you don't use that many layers of makeup because you feel uncomfortable with the heaviness. I feel like especially in the in in a lot of things and a lot of misconceptions that we have as a as humans is judge and judging ourselves, judging the products, judging judging what we don't understand. And I think that we have to have an agreement with each other that we should be doing more of a like okay, I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna keep a cue. Is I like to make sure that the the powder puff it's like as even as I can be, and then I just start applying it 
And then for the rest of my face and to just completely set the makeup, that's when I go with my Huda Beauty powder because I just love it so much. That, and I run, run so much out of the Huda and out of the Laura Mercier. And they don't even make the Lancome one that I really enjoy for such a long time that it's like, okay, well, now one of my favorite products is like not very present. So we're just gonna see what we're gonna do. And as you can tell, it's like modifying everything. It's ensuring that the product is sitting well. It's giving a lot a light color correction, which is also one of the reasons why I enjoy it so much. I feel like Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, it is that beautiful of a powder, but it's also like a color corrector. Like there are some translucent ones that have literally no color in it or translucent with no color, that literally say no color, no color, but color white. It's just like insane. So when I realized that this translucent powder is more of a color correcting powder for me, you know, cause it has a beautiful hint of like almost yellowish to brighten. I feel like that's such, such a beautiful finish. Now that I'm gonna set, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty. This is the sugar cookie powder. I love this powder so much. This and the Easy Bake and Snatch powder. Oh my God, I love them. But every time I use them, I feel so much guilt because I love them so much that I don't want them to be finished. Like, they're perfect. Like, I love them. And I always fear that I'm going to run out and I'm not going to have it. And they are irreplaceable to me because first and foremost, Omel gifted me the pressed powder. It was one of the first products that I enjoyed so much. He has gifted me so many things. But the, when he gifted me that, he knew that I was ready to take up my makeup to the next level. And I was like, okay, I got it now. Um, I'm gonna use the translucent from Huda. This is the old packaging, but you know, I cannot wait the new one. I'm very supportive of that. Like when she did that change in her line, I was pretty impressed, pretty happy and pretty, you know, like, okay, this is, she's definitely hitting all, all the marks. I wouldn't doubt that she would relaunch her uh, new eyeshadows and bring new ones. Like David Domel and I were talking about like, you know how people are and you know, he's like you know um uh, we've noticed a huge difference from living in different states now where it is it feels like as if like people are just different different type of uh a vibe i feel like a lot of the times we notice a huge change in our lifestyle depending on the area like when we used to live in rancho cucamonga people were different uh when we used to live in Riverside and we lived in the, like a private secure area. I felt like that was a very beautiful thing to do and experience with the male because I felt like for the first time we were by ourselves enjoying ourselves and just life couldn't get better. And then when we moved to Los Angeles, it has been pretty much of an intense ride. I can't speak on behalf of Domel because Domel has his own persona, but I gotta say that when I tell you that this last year has been rough on me, honey. It has been rough. I'm gonna add a healthy peach from Huda Beauty as a powder, and I'm gonna make sure that I start applying it right here to make it look very natural because this is a very beautifying foundation i found it to be a very gorgeous skin finish like so far and i'm gonna add my press powder now and this would be the easy bake and snatch this is on the shade peach pie it has its own we're actually gonna use it we're gonna use the the own brush excuse me, the, its own powder puff. So we're gonna add it and we're gonna make sure that we're setting that up, like right here. Like see how brightened that is? Like you are seeing it first time here. Like see how gorgeous that is? It like, it, it brightened up so beautifully. Same from the cheek clapper. 3D blush trio. And so same brush that we utilize the bronzer. Now we're gonna marry both of them. And we're gonna marry them to the point that it's just gonna look beautifying, natural, like right there. I don't know if it makes sense. But I hope it does. 
I think I'm bright enough so far. So what I'm gonna do is, I've never tried this foundation, this foundation, this eyeshadow palette from Jacqueline Hill from number, palette number two. And we're gonna utilize, I'm just gonna use one color to all around the, face, the eyelid and then the other one just to like brighten a little bit. So first and foremost, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use between Perfectionist and I did three taps in there. Oh, this is a little too powdery for my liking. Um, so I don't know if it's the quality of the product, but <laughs> okay. We're gonna try to do the perfectionist again. And I'm just gonna blend it all over my lid just to give it a little bit of dimension, especially because, again, I don't use a lot of eyeshadow work. I feel like when it comes to work, I just like to go a little bit on the neutrals. And I personally have enjoyed that. Like, you know, I feel like if I were to do a full face of makeup, like the one I have right now that has dimension, has a little bit of a highlight, uh, for, t for time purposes, I don't think I will be doing a more detailed look for work today, but I think this will be okay. Uh, tomorrow I am off, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the day break for tomorrow from wearing makeup, especially because I feel like lately I've just been using a lot of makeup. And while I love makeup, I also love my skin and I like to let it breathe. And I have not had any issues with breaking out from any product so far, which is something amazing. Um, but so far, this foundation is wearing pretty natural, pretty, very beautiful, very beautifying, I gotta say. Uh, next, I'm gonna use with the same brush, and I'm gonna make sure that the whole ends, uh, excuse me, the, the ends of this brush are fully loaded with the powder. And I'm gonna use this for the inner side just to kind of like brighten that area. So first and foremost, I like to use the Hypnos Lancome Drama, the new one, the color of it, Onyx, oof, gorgeous, love that. I'm not using any primer because I still have like, I don't sweat much and on top of that, I feel like the mascara, mascara wise, I never, they never really run on me, if that makes any sense. And I'm using this one right now because I like what it does. It kind of gives it a little bit of spikiness, but it doesn't clump them, it separates them evenly. And the new version, it, it just like, I've tried their sample and it's to die for. When I tell you it's amazing, like I'm excited for you guys, like they even go to any counter that they have it and you're gonna love it. Like I love the color, I love the shape, I love how it embraces everything. It's called Extremely Black. And I believe they used to have that color for the Fenacels. I am finally back. I have Domel here in the back to give a testament uh, and a commentary in regards to the foundation. How do you think it looks after I, like, what, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10.47. It's been more than 12 hours since I've used this foundation. How, what do you think, that, how do you think this looks, Domel? Well, for the amount of time you've had it on, it still looks really great. I think it looks from a distance looks really well put together i mean you definitely look a little shiny but have you touched up during the day so you literally applied your powders set your skin as usual up. yeah because usually what i like to use is like a very full coverage foundation that uh, plays a well alongside cream powders uh cream and powders and you know like liquids something that works really really nice I did notice that this foundation in particular works best when it's applied together with the primer. I particularly don't feel the need to use or buy like something, you know, extravagant like another primer or something like that. It works fantastic. If anything, I think that the primer works really phenomenal for anybody who's looking to have a... I think this is uh, silicone free. No? It's a silicone free. And it's such a beautiful... Um, Beautiful, beautiful primer. I really enjoyed it. However, I've been learning to understand more of my makeup, like the oiliness, uh, you know, all of this. Listen, I think for the amount of wear that you've had this, this looks amazing. Like, it's still, like, in wonderful shape, even though you're a little bit shiny, the foundation's not scoffing off, it's not breaking off. It, it, the powders you applied on top still are very present. Your blush... <laughs> 
your highlight, things like that. So the one hundred dollar lashes. I'm pretty pretty happy with looking at your makeup. Such uh, like a, a tough wear, right? Because yeah. it's twelve hour wear. That's and a pretty today tough wear. was the worst day for for us in weather wise. And it's pretty hot. It's yes. really really hot. Butter pecan three thirty passed the test, and I would highly recommend it. I cannot wait to tell you guys how much excitement I have for Tomel to do the cheesecake two hundred and fifty. So stay tuned for that review. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below what do you guys think about this finish. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.